The Gifted Season 1, Episode 12, Thoughts. This episode is called Extraction. Another episode I love, spoilers for every live-action X-Men installment leading up to and including this episode, shows and movies. And, right, the show is rated TV-14, so will this vlog be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we go back. We get yet another flashback four years ago, and Dr. Campbell is struggling to accept the the death of his brother and yeah you know the fact that he is going to lose his brother whilst mutants who he considers subhuman you know some of them can heal from even greater injury so that of course enrages him and he goes on this really impassioned TED talk that just, yeah, really, again, Nazi kind of talk. And I, I appreciate the, you know, they're calling it humanity today, really? Well, I guess, you know, they, they didn't like the sound of, let's kill all the muties. And, yeah, good detail that, you know, the triplets know... Clarice's, you know, criminal past, and yeah, I appreciate that, you know, later in the episode it's revealed she didn't read her mind, you know, the, they have contacts, they have people to, to talk to, and yeah, we learn, you know, she worked with the Brotherhood, you know, she didn't know that they were the Brotherhood, and she, you know, didn't join or anything. And I also like the, the little technical, you know, she's technically correct, the very best kind of correct. Sage asked me what I was arrested for. The stuff I did with the Brotherhood was not something I was arrested for, which, wow. Are we sure she's not the politician? And let's see. Yeah, we have the, the line, you know, what else have you been hiding in the ADR booth? I just don't know if you're one of us, Google Gobble. A really good scene with Lorna and Marcos talking about, you know, yeah, he's not the biggest fan of the triplets. And let's see. Right, I appreciate that Andy points out, you know, the book written about the, you know, the Fenris twins is biased because it was written by people who hated him, which, I mean, I think that the show is saying that he, Andy's wrong about that, that he's, like, maybe using that as an excuse, which, I mean, certainly sometimes... You know, the, um, what's the word? There is, like, sometimes it is hidden. It's, um, yeah, sometimes progressive language is, is weaponized. To, yeah. And, yeah, uh, Kate. Fade is not the, the biggest fan the the one who can hide things the the cloaca guy and yeah they talk about you know the so so yeah more more tension there it's a bit bougie and yeah Esme keeps pushing Lorna and she eventually loses control this is not the first time we've seen Lorna lose control but where most other characters have been like, oh, you know, I th some some have been like apologetic, I pushed you too far. Some have expressed concern, but Esme's like, I like that, you know, that was you you really are powerful, and I do appreciate, you know, she does point out the you know the strength that many pregnant you know people have. You know, I've said it before, I will say it again. If tomorrow we woke up 
and all over the world, every single human being, it had been reversed to where the people who became pregnant, carried babies, and gave birth were cis men instead of cis women, and, and some trans men. 100%. There would be so few births, so few cis men would actually agree that, you know, that would actually lead to this, you know, crisis of, of too low birth rates that the, the fascists are always screaming about. And, yeah, um, I like the, yeah, so they go to the, Reed and, and Kate go to, to pick up Ellen, and, you know, yeah, one of her co-workers seems like he recognizes because their picture has been on TV, you know, and <laughs> they, they pretend, oh yeah, you know, we met at the, the party, it wasn't, you know, and Kate picks up on the wedding ring and, you know, how's your wife? Tell her the donuts are the thing, or something like that. She'll know what that means, which I, you know, at, at that point, the guy's like, you know what? I don't even care who you are. This is getting way too awkward. I'm going to go. You know, unpopular opinion, hot take. Donuts are overrated. The warning is right there in the name. Do not. I'm just kidding. They're delicious. Anyway. I'm a mark for a good pun. The, the, let's see, yeah, um, we meet Ellen, and, yeah, um, Sharon Gless, I mentioned in an earlier video talking about the show, she was all, also on burn notice, and, and, yeah, you know, clearly, <laughs> Matt Nix really likes having her as this, like, really tough, you know, middle-aged woman that she's not yeah she's not weak they actually do the the power responsibility line wow and let's see yeah and you know Ellen is like you're asking I, I can't I can't just run this is a Matt Nix thing if Sharon Glass appears in it, she has to be difficult when, it's, you know, f when when male characters come to her and make sense. Yeah, maybe he doesn't like her that much. Maybe, uh, sort of, he, I, I don't think that he likes women that much. Or maybe it was, like, the writer's room on that show. <clears throat> Certainly this show, uh, so far, has fared significantly better. Now, let's see, the, um, yeah, Campbell approaches the senator and tries to talk him into, you know, supporting the, the project, and I, I appreciate, like, the senator isn't like, this is ethically wrong, he's just like, I don't know, the polls, though, very accurate depiction of an American politician. And I like, yeah, so Clarice and, and I guess it's Esme, one of the triplets talk. And, you know, yeah, Clarice is like, were you reading my mind? Because I swear I will portal you in front of a truck. She's thinking with portals. And... Then we have the, um, yeah, very, you know, tense confrontation between Andy and Lauren, and yeah, you know, she makes a good point. He's he's going too far. You know, he could have killed these guards. And let's see. Yeah, um, I like Marcos' line. Wow, John, all this time I've been working so hard to convince you. All I had to do was get you a nice shirt. 
And, you know, John is like, listen, Marcos, the shirt is amazing. And, yeah, the, 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 um, the guy that they have as a hostage, that the mutants have, you know, yeah, he says some really, <laughs> he has not watched enough movies, because there's just certain, like, antagonist characters, you really, you've got to be careful, the, the choice of words, you know, he specifically says, I don't want to breathe the same, you know, I don't want you breathing the same air as me, something like that. And and yeah, the triplets are like I mean okay, that you know, you're yeah, I I can agree to those terms. You know, and and yeah, makes him stop breathing and you know, some of the others do stop the the triplets, you know. Cut it out, full house quote. And let's see, yeah, and and Ellen explains, you know, she thought that there was an affair between Otto and you know what Madeline something. So you know, again, they they you know drip feed of information. It's like when they went to that guy where there ended up being a lynch mob because the the guy's son you know texted the the demonstration of Andy's powers to uh, um, one of the other neighborhood kids you know yeah they got a little bit further there as well but yeah it's something to go off or go off on and yeah, at the rally, they got a a children's choir to perform. I think it was like the national anthem or something like so, something important, to, you know. And you know, not long after, you know, Doctor Campbell is using one of the children as a human shield. So, you know. They literally are just props. You know, yes, he did not arrange for the choir to be there in the first place, but like, legitimately, he does not think it's again this thing of he's obsessed. You know, the the like, yeah, I appreciate John talking to Clarice and saying, you know, you are one of us. Very sweet and, yeah, you know, Lauren points out Andy has changed. And yeah, I like the the line, you know, nothing brings people together like hate. And yeah, the yeah, very very tense climax. And yeah, um, the very next episode is the season one finale. I should be able to watch it tomorrow. I am stoked. I can hardly wait to see how this season ends. And let's see. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm to be trivia. The Strucker kids' powers cancel each other out similar as some of these are terribly written. Similar to the Summer Brothers, Havoc and Cyclops, and to a lesser degree, Vul Vulcan cancel each other out as they try to use them on each other. And let's see. Huh. When Dr. Campbell's car is passing through the security checkpoint, the guard also identifies the other passenger in the car as Director Walcott. Francis Walcott is the name of one of the characters Dillant played on Deadwood. Very cool. And let's see. I think that might be what I And yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, I like the yeah Clarice and Lorna talking. You know, 
I don't know what good this outfit does. One look at my eyes. Yeah, they get close enough to see your eyes, my hair, or the fact that three of us are the same person. Then it's over already.